Together, we will build what I call an opportunity economy. Kamala Harris has unveiled her economic plan. There's a big emphasis on lowering costs and taxes while boosting affordable housing. When I am elected president, I will make it a top priority to bring down costs and increase economic security for all Americans. Here's what you need to know. In her first 100 days in office, Harris wants to implement the first ever federal ban on price gouging on food and groceries. She says the aim is to stop big corporations from exploiting consumers while generating big profits for themselves. There would be penalties for companies that break the new limits. So believe me, as president, I will go after the bad actors. She's focused on helping parents. Harris has proposed a new $6,000 child tax credit for newborns while cutting taxes for families with kids. I'll lower the cost of insulin and prescription drugs for everyone with your support, not only our seniors. She's aiming to lower health care costs, like the cost of prescription drugs, and cancel some medical debt. Harris also wants to boost affordable housing across the country, with a plan to build 3 million new construction units. We will do that together. Her agenda largely mirrors President Joe Biden's, and many of her proposals build on policies already introduced by him. Progressive economic ideas poll well with voters, but they've proven tough to pass into law. Some of her policies have come under attack as overly liberal populism by Republicans.